We're going to examine GM's Transmission Adaptive Pressure Control System so you can see what a valuable diagnostic aid this can be, especially when a vehicle comes in with an intermittent hard shift complaint and possibly P1811 stored in the PCM memory. To accomplish this, I'm going to use a computer-based diagnostic program from Ease Diagnostics. First, we'll check for any stored codes and freeze frames. There are none stored. Next, we'll look at the real-time data grid so that we can view our shift time parameters. In a good working vehicle, all our shift times take place in 0.2 to 0.3 seconds. Looking at the E screen capture in figure one in your manual, we see that the 1-2 shift has taken 0.7 seconds. This is much too long. Here on this screen, we could see that the parameters are correct. No GM conventional automatic transmission shift should ever exceed 0.65 seconds. The one two shift in figure one would be harsh at 0.70 and if it remains that way, P1811 would pop up. At this point in time, we know we have a problem on a one two shift, but why is it harsh sometimes and others not? To answer that question, we'll have to go to the diagnostic data list. Here, we'll find our tap cell parameters. The tap cells tell us how much line pressure the PCM is going to add or subtract on a particular shift, as seen on the screen capture in figure two. The tap cells are numbered four through 16, four being light throttle, 16 being heavy throttle. Numbers with minus signs is the amount of line pressure the PCM is going to subtract. The numbers without any sign is positive line pressure, meaning the amount of line pressure the PCM is going to add. So. Using these tap cells, you can not only see which shift is the complaint maker, but also at what load the problem is occurring.